Welcome to the Game Ramble video review for Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe, narrated by me, Dark Cloud. As always, the full text version of this review can be found on the Game Ramble website, linked below. TLDR for Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe is that it's a great standalone spin-off featuring the radio hosts first introduced in the shape-shifting detective. There's a lot of variety on offer here with six different episodes that feature all kinds of weird and wonderful situations for Poe and Monroe. Although the game is short, there are hundreds of branches to explore via the hotspot-driven interface, and each episode also has an alternate ending to keep you coming back for more. Whether you're a fan of previous Dalveki Studio titles, or want to experience an FMV game done right, you won't be disappointed with Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Gameplay receives a 9 out of 10. You're limited to clicking hotspots, but these lead to different story branches and even alternate endings. Graphics receives a 9 out of 10. From the beautiful credit scenes to the excellent use of lighting and camera angles, this is a great looking game. Sound receives a 9 out of 10. Every aspect of the audio is top notch. The overall score for Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe is 9 out of 10. And now for the full review. Poe and Monroe, the local radio hosts in the small town of August, should be familiar to everyone who played the shapeshifting detective by Darvicki Studios. Their show provided some spooky background noise for uncovering August's mysteries, and the two even became embroiled in their investigation at some point. However, in Dark Knights with Bone Monroe, the titular duo gets to shine in their own six unique mysteries. It would appear that they are not just talented at running what sounds like the weirdest show on radio, but also getting caught up in more paranormal happenings and even Mulder and Scully from the X-Files. Although fans of the shapeshifting detective will relish a return to August, there's no need to have played any prior Darvaki Studio titles before digging into Dark Knights with Bowen Monroe. For one, it's set before the events of the shapeshifting detective, and it also features very different gameplay. Having said that, we recommend playing both the infectious madness of Dr. Decker and the shapeshifting detective, as they're both brilliant games and well worth your time. Fans of Darvaki Studio should already know what to expect, but for those who don't know them, they're one of the developers responsible for bringing back FMV games. This might sound like a bad thing for everyone around during the genre's heyday during the 90s. Fortunately, Darvaki Studios have managed what many companies back then couldn't, and actually made games that are not just FMV, but also entertaining and engaging. Dark Knights with Poe Monroe is no exception, and proves that Darvaki Studios know how to create interesting characters and even more interesting scenarios. Instead of one big story, Dark Knights with Bowen Monroe is split into six standalone episodic adventures for the two radio hosts. The game is more linear than the shapeshifting detective in terms of how the stories play out, but numerous branches within each tale can lead to different events and even different endings. This is neat as it gives the game a lot of replay value, which is something that the FMV genre is not exactly known for. The stories range from a possible stalker in the first episode, all the way to paranormal threats such as vengeful ghosts and even a dash of science fiction in the form of time travel. As Dark Knights with Poe and is an FMV title, the visuals are unsurprisingly very good. The developers have shown that they have a knack for making even the most ordinary scenes look extra creepy with their previous titles, which is something they pull off again here as well. It's even more impressive considering the game doesn't use over-the-top special effects or elaborate backdrops. Instead, most of the action occurs at the Radio August studio or around town. The moody lighting and good use of camera angles keep things suspenseful, and credit should also go to Clemens Kuring and Leah Kunert for the marvellous job they do with their characters. Every scene with the two of them is a delight to watch, as they really pull out all the stops for their characters. While it may sound like the game is all doom and gloom, there's a surprising amount of humour as well, primarily thanks to the banter between Poe and Monroe. Of course, each episode also features a selection of guest stars, with our favourite being Ashlyn Death, which returns as Violet, the character she played in The Shapeshifting Detective. The scenes with her and Monroe are brilliant, and it's a pity she only appears in one episode. Even David Holm, who starred in 1995's Phantasmagoria, appears in one of the episodes, which was really cool to see. Each previous title by Wiki Studios features different gameplay styles, so it's no surprise they change things up again for Dark Knights with Bone Monroe. In this game, the FMV scenes play out until certain hotspots appear on the screen to indicate a choice that players can make. These hotspots are timed, so you really need to react far sometimes, but there is also an option to freeze time during these scenes for players who want a more laid-back experience. We recommend playing the game as intended for your first playthrough, and then enabling the freeze time for subsequent playthroughs, if you're going to explore other branches. Some of the hotspots lead to slightly different scenes, but there are a few that can change the story and ending of the episodes quite dramatically. We were still uncovering new scenes during our third playthrough of the game, so replay value is definitely not an issue. Unfortunately, there will still be many times when you're watching the same scenes, but in total there are almost 5 hours of video to uncover. The game also keeps track of your choices, so you can see how you compared with other players at the end of each episode. 
As is usual for a Daveki Studios title, the audio in Dark Knights of Bone Monroe is really good. Every line of dialogue is crisp and clear while the soundtrack features some brilliantly moody tunes. The two leads even break into song with one of the tracks, depending on the choices made by players. Finally, since Bowen Monroe operate a radio station, a few familiar voices call in during some of the episodes. The game uses a mouse-driven interface, so interaction is limited to pointing and clicking whenever a hotspot appears. It's also possible to pause the game at any time, should you need a quick bathroom break. Depending on the choices you make and the story branch you end up in, most episodes can be completed in less than 30 minutes, but as we mentioned earlier, the game has plenty of replay value to make up for this. Apart from being somewhat short, which is only really an issue because we wanted more of Poe Monroe, there's not much else to fault about the game. The FMV genre obviously has a lot of limitations compared to other games, but Daveki Studios has worked well within those limitations to create a compelling title. Some stories can be a little campy, but that's part of the game's charm. Dark Knights of Poe Monroe also injects enough humour into its stories that it's impossible not to have a grin on your face by the time each episode ends. It's clear that the game was designed so that players only play one episode at a time and then get a small trailer for the next episode to whet their appetites. However, the stories are so much fun that it's impossible to play one at a time, which means most players are simply going to complete the game in one sitting as we did. Fortunately, it's possible to pick up whatever episode you want to replay to make different choices and see different outcomes. Dark Knights of Bone Monroe is another excellent title from Daveki Studios and fans of their previous games should immediately add it to their collections. Even those who have avoided the genre because of all the shortcomings should check out Dark Knights of Bone Monroe to see how much fun FMB games can be if done correctly. We certainly enjoyed our time with Bone Monroe and hopefully this will not be the last time we see them in action. Thanks for joining me for this Dark Knights of Bone Monroe PC review. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time. Clown! Clown! Why isn't it working?